serve, that those currently serving in the uniformed services of the United States of America are ever mindful of the sweetness of enduring peace that has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the pain of deprivation and imprisonment. So before we begin our activities, we pause to recognize our POW and MIAs. I call your attention to the back table, a small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. The table is set for one, symbolizing the fact that members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POW and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families. So we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her oppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase signifies the blood that may have been shed and sacrificed to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. The rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who have kept faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of the countless fallen tears of families as they were. The glass is inverted. They cannot touch with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. Let us pray the supreme commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifices. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. If you all please, please rise and uh, join me in a flag salute to our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, And if you all please join me in a moment of silence for those members that we lost and those that have died for the defense of our country. Thank you. And please be seated. From all of us at the American Legion, May the good Lord fill your life with joy, love, good health, and happiness. And we look forward to seeing you all next year. I can't make you a promise, but if you try like hell, we'll see you next year.